These are universally applicable medications. So when we come to myeloproliferative neoplasms, myelofibrosis in particular, little is known really about dysregulation and immune control and uh, how and whether this medication would have any clinical applicability. Yet, it does make sense. I mean, it is working in other conditions, and therefore there is already a study underway in myelofibrosis with the agent called nivolumab, where we explore not just the activity of the drug, but along with the way we explore the biology of the disease, looking at the samples before therapy and during the therapy to see what is the underlying problem, how is this, and whether it is affected by the therapy and what would be the clinical benefit with the checkpoint inhibitors. That's only one study. I see other studies coming along with other immuno checkpoint inhibitors, immunomodulators in general, because we know that the cancer in general comes from a loss of proper immunological surveillance. So it just makes sense that there might be a potential for clinical benefit with these medications in myelofibrosis.